breakfast is pretty simple. I was running late, had to take my daughter to school, so I made the easiest breakfast ever, which is just two slices of toast, half an avocado, and I mash the avocado up, and then I sprinkle some pepper, and then add my favorite sauce ever, and it's Cholula hot sauce. I love this sauce, it tastes delicious. So I mash that up, and then I give the other half of the avocado to my son. He just loves to have avocado by itself. And then I just spread it all over the toast, and then I crack some more pepper on top, and add some more of the hot sauce, and ta-da, there's my breakfast. Super simple and delicious. So then after I dropped my daughter off, I came back home and I made myself a, I wouldn't say it's a juice, but it was like a juice slash smoothie. It was my first time trying this out and it was so good. So of course I'm sharing it. All I did was chop up two carrots and I put it, I put it, I put it in the food processor with a little bit of water. My blender was dirty, so I couldn't use that. And then I got my Cara Cara orange. It's a red fleshed orange, so good. I think it's better than the typical navel oranges. So anyways, um, I just got one of those and put that in the food processor, added like three ice cubes, a little bit more water, and then I blended that up. And you could see the consistency right here. It's a little, you know, chunky in a way, but it was so good, like a slushy, delicious. The straw would have looked great, but I had to use a spoon because of how thick it was, but it was so good. And of course, there's my son trying it out as well, and he loved it. So for lunch, I kind of just went with the flow with what I had in my kitchen. So I used some stir-fried rice noodles, and then I came up with my own little sauce, which is Worcestershire, how do you say it, sauce? Um, Cholula and soy sauce with lime, and it tasted delicious. So um, I was boiling my noodles, and then I decided to saute some mushrooms to add into my noodles, and I put in the little garlic thingy, and then my mushrooms, pepper, and I let that kind of, you know, cook. And then after a while, I just threw in some cabbage, some purple cabbage, and that was only in there for about a minute. And then I just stirred that up. I can't get over how delicious this sauce was that I made. It was spicy, but delicious. So I just added my mushrooms and cabbage and I squeezed a little more lime on top and then there it was and I was so full like after I felt like I was in a food coma I was full and this was just so good I actually want to make it right now so today's dessert that I planned out I have to kind of prep it before so all I did was just melt some chocolate chips and I just put them in some cupcake liners and I didn't fill it up all the way. I had to first freeze that for about 20 minutes. And since I had some chocolate left over at the moment, I made my daughter an after school snack. So all I did was get a banana, spread peanut butter on it, and then I got the remaining of that chocolate and I just coated that with chocolate. Then I added toppings, chia seeds, cacao nibs, and cinnamon powder, and of course sprinkles because it makes it look really pretty and it makes the banana roll just look like a full on ultimate snack. I didn't know what to say. So yeah, it's a banana roll, looks like sushi roll. So of course I added some little kid chopsticks and it was her first time trying them out. She was doing okay, then she would give up. So she would eat with her finger, but she got the hang of it. And so while she was eating that, I then took out my dessert that was in the freezer and then I added some uh, melted peanut butter, put it back in the freezer. And now for my snack, finally, I just had this whole thing of watermelon. It was so good and refreshing. So I took my dessert out of the freezer and then I topped off the peanut butter and the chocolate with some more chocolate and then it's time for dinner. So, oh, by the way, that went back in the freezer. So for dinner, I cut up some purple cabbage again. My kids love it. I chopped up some tomatoes. Avocado, of course. This 
this is actually really simple. I just added everything on top of my romaine lettuce and I had four of these. So I'm just showing two right here, but I actually have four. So good. I squeezed lime juice on it. I'm obsessed with lime. And then um, I put some cilantro and yeah, these were so good. You could probably add a sauce if you want it on top, but I feel like the lime and the cilantro added a lot of flavor. So finally dessert. It was all finished, I took it out of the freezer, and there you go, it's like a Reese's peanut butter cup right there, and it was so good. We ate them all up that night, and yeah. So that was it for my What I Ate in a Day video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like an astro